workplace is undergoing a transformation by COVID, yes, but also by robots. The consulting firm McKinsey predicts now automation will put 45 million people out of work by the year 2030. It's a trend that was already starting, but is accelerating in the pandemic. White collar jobs are the new target. Algorithms are now capable of outperforming doctors, lawyers, and bankers at certain parts of their jobs. That's according to Kevin Roos, New York Times business columnist, author of Future Proof, Nine Rules for Humans in the Age of Automation. Kevin, it's great to have you. Thank you. You describe a massive change in the labor force where robots not only do mundane tasks, but also make decisions. You go on to say robots will be the ones to climb the corporate ladder. Kevin, how so? Well, it used to be that automation and robots were mostly doing repetitive manual labor. That was all they could do is moving parts in factories and things like that. But now you have artificial intelligence that can do cognitive labor. It can make sales projections. It can generate recommendations. It can do the work that actually middle managers used to do. And so they're making inroads um, with these robots into all kinds of white collar industries. And actually that's the, the place where the most automation is happening wow. right now. It's not in factories, it's in office buildings. There's some jobs that you say you consider safe from automation, work that involves high stakes situations. No, no one wants to call a 911 and speak to a robot. Exactly. There are some jobs that humans are just better at. We're better at things that are surprising, that involve making people feel good, um, things that aren't uh, repetitive and rote. Um, we're good at creative and compassionate work. So those are the kinds of skills, those deeply human skills that we're going to need more of in the coming years, because what will be left if, for us if there, are the human beings. If there are layoffs as a result of automation, could there be a backlash? Do you see that similar to like the outsourcing boom of the 1990s? Absolutely. Executives are very concerned about that, which is why they've done a lot of this automation under the cover of the pandemic. They don't want to be seen as job killers. But I think it also depends how they distribute the gains from automation. If all of this extra money that companies are going to be making with these robots is given to workers, that'll be a lot different than if they hoard it for themselves and their shareholders. Mm. Kevin Roos, Future Proof. Thank you, Kevin. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.